Hello and welcome to my next tutorial. Today I'm going to try to teach you how to use sub lists of lists. And it is a little bit complicated with the way lists start at element zero. So let's get started here. I have a Python interpreter here. So I'm just Python three. And I'm going to do for each in range. And I'm going to do one through 31. And we're going to do print each. So this gives us a list one through 30, okay? So to we're gonna do something called casting. So we're gonna do x equals list range one through 31. Print x. So now we have a list assigned to variable x that goes from one to 30. Now remember that if I do print x zero, this is gonna print one. If I do one here, this is gonna print two. If I print two here, it's gonna print three. This is representing the slot location number, and then it returns whatever's inside here. So remember when we had the dog list, I'll show you this quickly here. If I do print dog list zero here, it'll print out comment. So just remember every time you're specifying the number inside these brackets here, it is the slot location and not, and it'll return the value of what's in the list. So that's what makes it this all very confusing when you're dealing with a list of numbers. Now you could probably say, why didn't I start the list at zero? Well, most lists don't start at zero, like if you're counting something. So I'm gonna show you a list that starts at one, but this is actually element zero. And we can just prove that one more time by doing this. X zero like this returns one. Okay, so now we want element three through 10. And the way you do that is two, comma 10. So it goes 0, 1, 2. So slot 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you press enter here and you'll get 3 through 10. So just like print dog list, let's do it in the dog list. It's, it makes more sense. Say we want, we want bear through Bailey. So it's actually 0, 1, through Bailey. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So you get bear through Bailey. So just remember, always, always inside this brackets are the slot locations and then it returns the value in here. So the next thing I want to show you is <clears throat> say we need to find the last element of the list. Okay? So Many programming languages show you this. We want x, we want the length of x, and it's always length minus one, close bracket, close parentheses. And if you look at that, that's pretty confusing or maybe even self-explanatory because you're doing the length of x minus one, but that's a lot of typing just to say, I want the last element of the list. In Python, there's a lot easier way to do that. You don't need any of that length stuff, you just say, negative one give me the last element of the list dog list minus one and it's max say I want to know the last element the second to last element that's all you have to do minus two minus two so that's how you can go backwards through the list here instead of doing this crazy length thing here okay so how do we get we want say we want everything in the list except the last element and that's pretty easy to do as well instead of just doing you should actually actually know how to do this already we're going to go from element zero through element or slot zero all the way through negative one so this will print out everything except the last element. 
But there's even an even shorter way to do this. You don't even need the zero here. So you can just do that. And then same with the dog list. Say dog list minus one. Put a colon in front of it. You get the whole list except the last element. And just like if you put two here, <clears throat> you'll get the whole list minus the last two. So Bailey and Max are cut off of this list. So it's very cool that you can do negative one, negative two, and so on here um, on the list. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to access the elements. <clears throat> so I showed you how to access the elements using this negative two representation, but then there's something called a step. And a step is basically when you want to step over elements in something in Python. So originally I showed you this for each in range one through 31, but here we're going to put comma two instead of just not having this. And what this is doing is, and I put reach instead of each there, but that's fine. So you can see here, we have a step of two here. So this goes one and it skips two. We have three, it skips four. So that's what this is called. It's a step, this part. So say we need, let's fix this instead of reach. Say we need to step over two items each time, you can put a three here. Um, sorry, this needs to be each now. You'll see here that we did one, we skipped two and three. We have four, we skipped five, six. So this is called a step in Python. And many things actually have this, including lists. So let's clear the screen. So we have this list and say we want to do, give me every element of the list like this, but step two. So that's a very quick and easy way to just get all the items that are odd is with a step two there. Since the list starts at one, <clears throat> that's how you would get the odd numbers of this list. Now, if you need the even numbers of the list, instead of starting at element zero here, we're gonna start at element, or slot zero here, we're gonna start at slot one here. And now you have all the even numbers of the list. So it's a very quick, easy, thing to do with the step option here at the end of the of these colons. <clears throat> okay, so the last thing I want to just show you how to do is, is copy a list. So it's not very obvious that in Python how to copy a list. So say we want, we want to just do x2 equals list x, and that's how you can copy a list. So we have x here, and we have x2 now, and say we want to do x2 slot 0 equals Python. Now when we print out x2, you'll see Python here as the first element of the list. So that's a very easy way to copy a list is this way, is just do <clears throat> put your new variable here, and then put list, and then put parentheses, your list in here, and then parentheses. So it's a very easy way to copy a list. Now, I showed you this. This returns another list. So you can actually do new x list. Actually, let's just do x sub list equals this. I actually don't need these. So now when you have print x sub list and the type is still list. Whoops. Uh, type. 
So that's how you can copy a sublist to another variable and use that if you need it. It shows you how to copy the whole list. Um, these show you how to do the steps. I also showed you how to um, use the range variable. And hopefully this gives you a good understanding on how to access multiple items inside of a Python list. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and check out my next video.